So I'm back at La Mesa RV and I found my buddy Carl and I said, Carl, man, you got to take us through this, this beast here in front of us and tell us a little bit about the features and the benefits that everybody should be aware of. This is a, a pretty intimidating looking vehicle here. Okay, Jeff, thanks again. This is our 2023 Integra Accolade XL. Integra is a company, parent company is Jayco Motorhomes. Everybody's heard of Jayco. This is their high-end division, and check out this beast they built. This thing is awesome. It's a 6.7 liter turbo diesel Ford 4x4 unit with beefed up suspension. You gotta take a peek under here, Jeff. Look at this. Sorry it's a little dirty, but look at that. <laughs> Pretty and impressive. this is on the F600 chassis. It's been lifted, but we're not missing any creature features. So when you wanna get off road and have a great time, and feel like you're at home, this one's gonna have it. And we'll take a look inside in just a hey, minute. Jeff, one yeah. thing I did wanna point out on this 35L, if you look here, you can actually put a table all the mm. way across. That table can come out, go right next to the motorhome back here by our entertainment center. And lo and behold, drop a crock pot on there, have that cooking all day long, have your favorite shows on or your music playing. And you can now sync your telephone and Bluetooth right through the Bluetooth features on the RV technology here. And the one thing I did want to point out is like our backup lights, our LED lights and turn signals and everything. Oh, if you notice inside here are all LED lights. The person that buys this typically has razors, uh, you know, the off-road vehicles and things like that. This hitch system, if you look right down here, this hitch system is rated for 12,000 pounds. I've got motorhomes on my lot brand new that weigh less weigh that. than 12,000 pounds. Yeah. This thing will haul most anything you can hook behind it. So literally, you could pull another motorhome behind this one. Exactly, or a trailer for the kids if you want them to have their own room. Yeah. Make sure it's black to match. That's right. <laughs> so let's take a look inside this. Come on in, Jeff. Wow, very nice. Really not camping, this is glamping. It is. Yeah. It With is. a four by four unit, you could get up to the top of a mountain, down by a creek, and uh, level this thing out. Everybody's happy. I'm really impressed with the the room size and the, the feel in here. Nice and airy and bright. Yeah, and if you notice in the kitchen galley, they did use a dual burner in tugs and cooktop. And the power port, <clears throat> I'm going to explain this real quick. This power port's really great because you've got USB, you've got USC two power ports and when this is down this is actually wireless a self charger. wireless charger yeah, yeah very nice and i gotta say i'm pretty impressed with the price point yeah yeah this is awesome we've done very well with this another thing i like is this automotive glass up in front and you're sleeping in the back master suite and you don't want to beam a light coming in in the middle of the first thing in the morning make sure you close this before you go to bed mm -hmm. sleeping in is not a problem in this unit mm -hmm. So now, how, many, how many folks do you sleep all together before we jump into the cab there? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wow. You get six in here. Wow. Yep. Very cool. One thing with this unit being on an F600 chassis, this driver and passenger seat does not spin into the house. So that's one, one thing, that, that it, but it's not a big deal. The main thing with this is that 4x4 four four turbo diesel chassis. It's going to take you up, up and over any hills you need. Recliner, no but you've yep. also got USB charging right here, so it's easy to plug a cable in. Have your phone sitting here. <clears throat> All Real. while you're checking out the movie. Yep. And right here, I'm going to keep my armrest. I mean, my uh, little remote control if I need to change a channel. But really, a nice, nice theater seat system. All powered. Cushions then lay over top of this when it's down at this level, making it a sleeping area. But uh, one thing we like is we can drop that TV. Don't have to turn the TV off, it can stay on. But if we're done with the TV for the evening or we wanna see what's going on outside, you can just drop the televator. Nice. Yep, I'll bring that all the way down. I'll leave it for the next guest. Also help create a nice ventilation flow from one side to the next with great, those windows. Great ventilation. Now, they also use a sunscreen as well as blackout curtains so we can block out if we're going to change in here we're going to dance whatever we do <laughs> we're going to block that out so nobody can see in very nice okay so in this we do have a full twin cooling residential refrigerator 
basement freezer with ice cubes. Mm. Now, this does have a whole house water filtration outside, so the ice cubes are okay to use for drinks, but the water is filtered water. I love the little stonework here behind the wall. Actually, real stone. So that's awesome. Farm style sink. Pantry. All the way down. Very nice. And right here, <clears throat> here's the shining star. Again, this controls everything. So I can, at a glance, walking by, I can see my fresh water. Notice we've got two fresh water tanks, water pump, tank heaters. So if, I, if I'm going to be in cold climate, I just turn my tank heater on. I also have auto gen start. Auto gen start, we can set this by, excuse me, we can set this by time. We don't want it to run after 10 o'clock at night. We don't want to upset the neighbors. We can have it start when it hits 100 or 11.7 volts. You can set that up or down from there. You can also set it by temperature. So if our temperature gets too hot, it will start, turn the air conditioner on and start cooling. So here we get into some more of our programming features. Lights, anytime you see an up and down arrow on the light, I'm gonna use the hallway light here. You press and hold that, this light is now dimming. Maybe hard to see on the TV there, but this is dimming. Climate control, you can set the front and the master bedroom at different temperatures. So if the kids wanna sleep at 72 and mom and dad wanna sleep at 67, just set the temperature, it'll do its thing. So two separate AC units in here. Two separate AC units. So we run a 50 amp cable on this and we do have a diesel generator on board. Mm. This controls our slide outs and our awning. And then here we do have a mobile app. Love and, that. Yep, mobile app is awesome. Again, we can change it from Fahrenheit, we can dim and we can get into network diagnostics. The reason I keep poking at this is this is a quick and easy way to see if I have anything going on. I don't have anything on this coach. It's brand new. Everything's green. So perfect. Love it. Okay, so now we're in the, in the bedroom area in the back. Master suite. We've got, you notice right on each side of the bed, there's wireless charging and a little USB cable here. So if you don't have wireless capability, you can pop this up and plug your regular cable in and set your phone right here. So no matter what your phone capability is, you can charge the phone bedside. Now here in the master bedroom, we do have a, a fireplace for looks, but you can also adjust the temperature. Right now I have it on high, so it's, it's pumping out hot, hot air right now. We can set the temperature for whatever temper we can do with colors, so if you want it to be 74 in the master bedroom, it'll use the fireplace to keep it 74 degrees. And I can feel the heat. Yep. A lot of people don't know this, but back in behind their TV is always massive storage. Most people will have bought more motorhomes, and if nobody shows them, they'll never pull up on that, and they never know that's there. Hmm. We have a standalone washer and dryer. Now, you go find a Class C motorhome that has a, a washer and dryer built into it. Now, remember, we are on an F600 chassis, so we can add this weight when we have a gas engine Ford chassis Class C motorhome, that chassis is already getting maxed out with just the house on the wheels and tires. This one, we can put much more weight, obviously. Very nice. Yep. And then big closet for him and her. His would be over vice versa. You've got plenty of space there. And notice we do have ducted air conditioning in here. All right, so now we're looking at the room in the shower. So Jeff, I'm five foot eight, and I've got to tell you, I've got no issues with shampoo on my hair. My elbows do not hit, and I can almost stretch completely up to hit the top of the sun, sun deck there. Love that. I, I, I always love it when they put the uh, skylights above there. It just yep. makes them feel bigger. Than and me. you don't have a plastic shower curtain uh, laying on you while you're trying to get the soap and water off. This is glass. It's very, very residential feeling in here, guys. You're going to love it. Hey, Jeff, nice. there's the shower, but i got to share, share with you, being a master suite, it's not a master suite when people in the front room can see you. So notice this little guy right here. You open this door, and now you have the entire shower, bathroom, and master suite area all to mom and dad. With a nice window, good size bathroom. Very nice. Carl, thanks so much for walking us around this beast. This is awesome. I really think this is a lot of RV for the money. Yeah, and hey, sorry for a little bit of the noise going by here, but this is our delivery center. We deliver all of our motorhomes from indoors. You can see there's families taking delivery today. 
and this will be emptied today when they take delivery and we'll reload it for tomorrow morning. Awesome. One thing about this unit, guys, this is a great, great unit. It's, it's a niche unit for the guy that needs to get off road, wants to get deep off, off the grid, but all the creature features inside, theater seats, the disappearing TV, the sunscreen up above, great, great paint job. So Carl, anybody wants to get back in touch with you, let's, let's tell them real quick how to do that because you'd be happy to do a, either a video or in-person walkthrough on this thing, right? Absolutely. So I probably do much better when I'm not putting this out for YouTube and hundreds of people to see. So I'm one-on-one I'm -on -one with a customer. I have no problem doing a video, uh, FaceTime, whatever you want. You call me, email me, we'll set up a time and I'll go through whatever motorhome we have in our inventory for you. I really appreciate that. I know our viewers do. So thanks again for uh, taking us through this. Really appreciate that. Thanks again, guys.